What's happening, Doug Peeps? I'm Mintup coming at you today with our match versus uh, Southampton Sneasels. And he pretty much brought exactly what he thought. So let's hope we can uh, win this and get this all figured out. Okay, so he's got everything on his speed team that outspeeds us. Uh, what do I want to lead with? Okay, battle timer's on, so we need to think. Let's get this started. We're going to lead with Sunstorm. Um, possible rockers on his team are Clefable and... Does Snorlax get Stealth Rocks? I don't know. Let's lead with Sunstorm. He doesn't have Mega Aggron, that's really weird. So let's go ahead. Do we want to lead with Sunstorm? The obvious Volt Switch is just so obvious. He doesn't have a resistance to Hyper Voice. Let's lead with Sunstorm. He's going to lead with Clefable. Pretty safe, safe play for him there because there was nothing that wanted to come in and just straight up get uh, if I started with yeah let's just hyper voice turn one because he's going to set up the rocks that did a lot of damage now we're going to bolt switch out see what he's going to do he got up the rocks, which really, like I said, doesn't hurt our team that much. It's worse for Tyrion than anything else. Um, if he goes into Jolteon, that will be bad. I really don't think he's going to do that right away. Um, he could be anticipating me to be Specs, because that did quite a bit of damage. Should we just go for another Hyper Voice? Uh, let's see. What did we do with Heliolisk? Let's do Clefable. Oh, you rock setter set. And that did. Hyper Voice did 33 to 40 percent. That was pretty close. So he's probably more defensive. So this is probably his answer to. Yeah, we're just going to Hyper Voice. And he's thinking, trying to figure out what he can go and do to eat a Hyper Voice, probably. He's going to go out and clip. Latias, that doesn't take it very well either. So these hyper voices are really hurting his team early. I don't know, he might have predicted the Volt Switch there. Let's see what kind of Latias. At level 50, hyper voice did 36%. That would have been a low roll on that. With no special attack. So he might be somewhat uh, offensive or a little bit defensive. Let's just drop another Hyper Voice. We'll see how, how well it works. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't bring in Lax if it wasn't a special defense wall. So it may not be. Let's just go ahead and we're just going to continue. He's going to go for the Psy Shock. Okay. He doesn't have leftovers. I wonder if that means that he is Specs. So let's see that Psy Shock. Oh, that was from the Life Orb set. He could be a Salt Vest. Let's switch this to a Salt Vest. No, he's not a Salt Vest either. What move is he running there? Okay. He dropped the Psy Shock there. 
We're gonna go into Athena. I mean, he's gonna Dragon Pulse. That does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um. He isn't gonna go into. His. Jolteon. Because Jolteon doesn't want to come in and take a hit. Uh, he could be going into Crawdaunt. He could be going into Snorlax. We are just going to T-Wave this turn. Uh, if we could T-Wave this, it would be beautiful. It's going to recover. Wow. That T-Wave is going to be huge now. And we are just recovering HP. So now... We are going to... Okay, it does show us what moves. We're just going to set up the Ice Beam. Why doesn't he have leftovers? Is this a Yachi set? Let's find out. He's going to switch out. He's going to go into Lax. And that does nothing. That was a crit. Wow. So our answer to Lax almost immediately is Steven Universe. And we're going to go right out into that. He's going to go for the Toxic. Oh, that was a really good play on his part. So let's Mega Evolve. Why am I not getting the uh, Mega Evolve thing here? I don't have the box that gives me the option to show me a Mega Evolved. That worries me a bit. So I don't know if I'm Mega Evolved or not. I do have the Sableye Eye. Okay, I do. Let's... Set up a Calm Mind. I didn't Mega Evolve, what the heck? Okay, we're going to try that again. There we go. We get up to Calm Mind. We're at two Calm Minds. We're probably not going to outspeed this. Would have been so nice to poison that too. Okay. We're going to see a Moon Blast come out here. That's going to be my guess. Let's Shadow Ball. Wow. I was not expecting that much damage to come off of that. So, we're going to go into Roger. We're going to protect this turn. See what he wants to do. He could switch out. Um, a switch into Heracross would be really good for him right here. <laughs> what do we want to do? I can't believe I let Mega Sableye go down like that. That was my answer to freaking Snorlax. Now I'm going to have to rely on Cress or uh, Entei to get the poison up, which isn't going to help me out very much. He is going to switch out. He's going to go into Lax. We are going to get the Toxic up. Now let's find Raticate Snorlax. Let's just go with the Curse Lax set. Set it at 50. Facade is a guaranteed to hit KO. Body Slam isn't going to kill us right off. I'm just dropping the facade. That doesn't do 50%. Wow. 
And he's going to crit us, which is going to matter because we're going to die to toxic damage. Son of a biscuit. So that's no good. So we're going to go into Street Shark. And we are just going to... Okay, so... Eradicate goes down. That sucks. Mega Sableye is down. That sucks. Where is our Garchomp? So that means that Snorlax does have to have a defense investment. So let's see. Snorlax... This, this could be the Assault Vest set. At level 50. The only thing that's going to two-hit KO, it's an Outrage. It can't kill us, though. So Outrage could kill him from this range. No, it can't. We can't even two-hit KO him, which sucks. Okay, we got 60 seconds, then we're going to keep our mind... I really just want to outrage. Let's outrage. He's going to rest up, which is going to allow him to switch. He's not a Chesto set, which is fine. He can get Crescent for free, or Clefablin for free. I'm not worried about it. As long as we don't get a three-turn outrage, okay, good. Not a problem there. We're going to go back into Athena, and we'll see what this thing wants to do. We are not playing very well. That crit on Radicate really sucked a lot. Because at max, that would have done 50%. And we would have gotten off another hit and probably killed it. Or gotten a U-turn out into something better. And that's just... I don't like that. At all. It's going to Moonblast here. Not going to do enough. Um, we are just going to Psy Shock this turn. He's going to bring in Lax. Psy Shock isn't going to be doing enough. And we're going to need to bring in Tyrion right now. Uh, he's got one more turn to sleep. And Tyrion can just drop the boom on whatever he decides to bring in. He could double out here, which would be a really good play for him. He is just going to opt to Sleep Talk and get the Body Slam. Okay. Okay. Not even a problem. We are just going to Sacred Fire. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get... Oh. That just sucks so bad. That crit on Radicate really threw me off. Really thought we were going to survive. That Moonblast from Clefable. That Sacred Fire doesn't do enough. And he is going to get the rest... So he is... Let's find Entei. How much time we have left? 160 seconds. Where's Entei? Snorlax. Oh, he is going to be... Thick Fat. Which is why we're doing so little. Body Slam should have only done... 30 some percent. How much did it do? Way more than that. How much did that body slam do? Oh, 36%. Well, yeah. Sacred Fire wasn't doing nearly enough. Which makes me think we should go back. He's going to wake up this turn. And go for the body slam. So we're going to go back into Chomp. We're going to get some rough skin damage off on him. Which is going to matter more than anything else. Okay. So he's going to think that we are definitely going to be locked into whatever we go for. Which we are. But he still doesn't want to hit us. So what does he want to go into? Clefable or something else? Clefable isn't going to want to switch in too many more times. I'm thinking that's probably a, a really offensive Clefable. So 
so let's let's crunch and that paid off in spades we are gonna pop the Cobra Berry there and that was really good for us so we're gonna crunch a second time and that will get rid of any reason for us to need to outrage uh, we'll see what he's gonna do he could stay in uh, he's paralyzed there isn't as much of a reason for him to stay in <sighs> what do you predict me to switch I, I really just need to stay in and crunch right here I can't be too cheeky right now in this match because it's just not worth it so we could bring in Clefable right now and it would be a really good time for him to double I mean he could bring in Heracross I lost my answer to Heracross Um, a crunch isn't going to do a lot to Heracross. So I think that would really be a good time for him to bring it. If he's going to bring it in and set up. He is going to bring in Heracross. What do we want to sack right here? Because I can freely Earthquake from this point. I don't want to lose this just yet. He could knock off. And if he does, that would be good for us. Because I don't think he's going to two-hit KO us with a knockoff. If he close combats, I can bring in Athena and take him out. <sighs> Stay in and crunch, get some damage, see what he wants to do. He's going to Mega Horn and miss. He was predicting, so he's he could still be Scarfed. I didn't help myself out by going for that right there. But damage on this thing is going to be damage. He has to know, or at least think, that we're locked now. He's going to miss back-to-back -back Mega Horns, and that's really bad for him. Um, I'm going to keep it staying in Crunch. He wants to switch out, he can switch out. He's going to bring out Lax. That isn't going to do a lot. He's going to get the defense drop, which isn't good for him. Now we do need to switch out. We've seen Rest, Body Slam, Toxic, and Sleep Talk. So... Tyrion's going to go down. Let's go into Athena. If he toxics this turn, good for him. Let's not. I don't want that toxic. Let's go into Tyrion. He's going to rest. Okay. Okay. <sighs> what do we want to do here? We're going to switch out into Sunstorm. And we're going to see how much damage we can do with a Focus Blast. That has to be our play. That does massive damage. Please get another turn of rest. He's going to Toxic us. That's okay. I can deal with Toxic. We should live one more turn. Can we hit back-to-back -back Focus Blast? He's going to switch out. Clefable is going to come in. That's fine. It's still going to take a huge chunk from that. We're going to Hyper Voice. From that range, we might be able to take out the Snorlax. The Snorlax is going to be a huge problem from here on out because I don't have any hard enough hitters on either side to do much. But I mean, after this, I come in and start Earthquaking and that's good. Hyper Voice is going to hit whatever. Oh man, this match has really freaking got me sweating. I'm a nervous coffee drinker. 
So, I mean, Hyper Voice to hit whatever he brings in. And then just Guard Tromp and Earthquake things. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do from this point. And just hope we can get it. Hyper Voice, not going to be enough to take him out. He's going to Soft Boiled. That was a really smart play on his point. We're going to go to Guard Chomp. Where's Guard Chomp? See how much we're going to do to Clefable. The OU Rock Setter set at level 50. An Earthquake isn't going to... 50. Oh, nothing I do is going to quite take it out. That's no bueno. I am just going to have to drop the Earthquake here, and then come in and start extreme speeding things. Wow. Wow, that took him out. He doesn't have as much defense. He is fully in offensive. Wow. That was crazy. Now he can bring in... I don't know what he's going to bring in here. I mean, Snorlax would be an option. He's going to wake up this turn. I mean, he at this point, he has to be almost completely physically defensive Snorlax, which is really going to bone us. Because nothing I have is going to break through it. Here comes Lax. Entei isn't going to survive another switch in. Um, let's hope. He doesn't rest. He is going to rest. We need to get really lucky here. I mean, like, really lucky. And him just get crap turns of Earthquake. Or rest. Okay. We need to get, like, a super crit. That's not going to take us out rough skin damage. We're going to be able to take him out with an Earthquake. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We will take him out with an Earthquake, right? Yep. Doing at least 37%. Too bad that first one. That is going to take him out. Now, now he brings in banded freaking this thing. King Crawl don't kill us at this range. And Aqua Jet's 39%. Oh, yeah. I mean, Tyrion isn't living a switch in. I kind of have to go to that at this point. Aqua Jet, Jolly Adaptability, Life Orb... Always kills. So I need to go into Tyrion. Sack it off. Hope he doesn't set up the sword stance. No, he did go for the Aqua Jet. Okay. Now we're going to go into Athena. T-wave this thing. See if he's ba See if he's locked with Band. I mean, if he goes into Jolteon, I'm not worried about that. We should be able to take hits from Jolteon. We are max specially defensive. If he switches in Heracross, we're going to paralyze it. He does go into Jolteon, that's fine. I want to see how much the Psy Shock is going to do. He's going to Shadow Ball, and he's going to lower our Special Defense. That really sucks. And that's going to matter. That really sucks. So I have to hope he doesn't kill us here in Moonlight. 
Man, that sucks. That sucks so stinking bad. So, we're just gonna have to earthquake the things. Um, I don't know why he wouldn't stay in. If he switches out, I have a chance to kill his Crawdaunt. And that wouldn't be good for him. So, Crawdaunt's gonna come in and kill us with the Aqua Jet. And that's gonna be GG. Wow. Aqua Jet, yep. So that is the match. We played against Jordan. And we fall 2-0 to the Southampton Sneasels. And we didn't really misplay that match. There was a lot of hacks. I'm not blaming either side because those two Megahorn misses probably saved me a lot. And that's going to be it. So that was week th five. We are now two and three. We're dropping back below the 500 mark. But that was a really good match versus Jordan. I'm glad we got it in because we were really having scheduling issues at the last minute. We're both really busy with work. And I was given this day off the last minute. So that was Bueno. And uh, GG Jordan in the Southampton Sneasels. It was great to finally get to play you. And it was nice to have such a, a good match. So alright guys, this one will up. I want to thank you for watching this match. And supporting uh, the Pittsburgh Piratitas. But, like I said, we fall to 2-3. and three. We really got a rebound. I haven't looked ahead to see who we play next week, but I could probably do that real quick now that I have two windows open. And we're going to see who do we roll on to next week. A 2-0 loss isn't all that bad. We're going to play NU. Who's NU? Is that the new cast? New Crustal United. And I don't know who the coach of that team is. Let's go to the manager information, and we'll pull up the NU. Oh, that's Chi's team. The amazing Chi. Longtime friend of the channel and the Pittsburgh Piratitas. So we'll be playing Chi next week. Boy, no. So, alright, guys, that's what I meant up. And we will catch you on the flip side. Peace. <laughs>